Hey guys, the trailer for Captain America 4 is finally out, or as it's known, Captain America Brave New World. Let's watch the trailer right here and then later. I'll bring you my opinions on whether it really lives up to Steve Rogers. What's this about Captain America elevators, okay? But before that, you know the drill. Comment below if you're excited or if you think there should only be one Steve Rogers or are you going to give the new Captain America a chance? Comment below because I want to know. Let's go straight to the trailer. Three, two, one, go. Wilson. Thanks for coming in. Well, thank you for the invite, sir. I have to admit, I'm still getting used to the new look. They said to uh, lose the mustache or lose the election. You and I, I haven't always agreed in the past, but I want to make another run at making Captain America an official military position. And if we disagree on how to manage a situation, then what happens? Work with me, Sam. We'll show the world a better way forward. Sir, your inner circle has been compromised. Either you can't see that, or you don't want to. What if it's a trap? Global power is shifting. You're just a pawn. You may be Captain America, but you're not Steve Rogers. I'm not. Guys, a lot to comment on, but first, drop your comment below. You just watched the trailer. What are your thoughts? Did you like it? Did it get you excited? Did the hype go up a bit? Mine definitely did. Do you know why it went up? Because it's very much tied to very much tied to Captain America 2, which is Captain America and the Winter Soldier, which is the best movie, not only in the Captain America series, in my opinion, but also one of the best in Marvel. Because the first Captain America was good, but it was origin. The second was Winter Soldier. There were political subplots. It was a more serious more adult subject. The third one was really Avengers 2.5, right? Which is Civil War, right? Let's put it this way. It was more of an Avengers story than a Captain America story. Anyway, going in here, we see the president in the White House. There's another scene that looks like he's on that Air Force One, which is the president's plane. It's funny that I mention Air Force One because what do we recall? At least those of us who are around 35, 40 years old, remember what? He remembers Harrison Ford himself playing the role of the president in the Air Force One plane, which is hijacked by terrorists. That movie is really cool. Watch it later. Here, Sam Wilson makes that mustache joke, doesn't he? Because Thunderbolt Ross always wore a mustache. Iconic, isn't it? And as there was the change of actors, it's the new actor playing Thunderbolt Ross. So he cut his mustache. Do you know why? He says that his advisors told him it's to win the elections. But actually, it's because of, we'll see at the end. Ah, uh, you've seen it, haven't you? Because of the Red Hulk, right? Because the Red Hulk, when he transforms, doesn't have a mustache. There's a version with a mustache, but this one doesn't. And then Harrison Ford or Thunderbolt Ross, it's the same person. Thunderbolt Ross talks to Sam Wilson about forming a partnership because he wants the figure of Captain America in his strategy. But then Sam Wilson says like, yeah, fine, but what if we disagree at some point? How will it be? And then no, then it cuts off, right? Then the president's response doesn't appear. There are rumors, right? There are rumors that at some point in the movie, Thunderbolt Ross, the president, will ask Sam Wilson to form a new team of Avengers. And then he will say something like this. But who said they will want to meet 
and even more so under the wings of the government, right? Because that didn't work in the past, right? Anyway, here the president making some announcement, something like that. They also say that finally, They go to the island where Diamute is, where at the end of Eternals, one of the Celestials is frozen there. It's impossible, impossible for someone not to see it. But it's been many years. Damn, I don't even know. It's been more than five years. I don't know. Many films and no one said anything. They had a chance to speak, didn't. And they are saying that they're in Diamute. They will find what? adamantium since wolverine is out there now in july we're going to be blessed with deadpool and wolverine right and here you'll see a lot of chase scenes a lot of police scenes i love this atmosphere i don't know about you guys comment down below anyway here there will be that significance of captain america of steve rogers the strength of steve rogers has to do with the serum But we have to remember that in the first Captain America, there is a scene where Tommy Lee Jones, his general, throws a grenade and he jumps in to hug the grenade. And he wasn't Captain America yet. He was that skinny guy. So Captain America, the character, okay, and he gives his best. It's in his values. Not specifically in the super soldier serum, right? We saw even in the series Falcon and the Winter Soldier that the crazy man there took the same serum, the same super soldier serum, and he turned into a psychopath. He'll even be back now in Thunderbolts. So, I mean, a guy with the serum turned into a psychopath and Steve Rogers without the serum performed a heroic act. So Sam Wilson can be Captain America with the same heroic principles. Being heroic was good, right? Heroic, right? Not erotic, for God's sake. Sam Wilson doesn't have an OnlyFans account. Anyway, it will be there. It will appear later here. Let's wait for me to comment. So here the political plot. Here the pretender once again playing some villain. We don't know if it's some generic villain or not. But he's good. He has the face of a villain. He commands respect. Him holding a gun. Or he's simply like Stan Edgar and the boys. He's simply talking. He can already put pressure Him talking, he puts pressure on Captain Homeland there, who is the Superman of the boys. So with a gun then, imagine for God's sake. Here, Explosion Missile New World Order was the movie's name back in the day. And I believe there will be a race, a race to get adamantium. Since they already know that there is also vibranium, which is the material of Captain America's shield and is also the material of Winter City's arm which didn't appear in the movie and is also the material of the new armor that will... The new Captain America armor should appear later here because he uses it to fight the villains, right? They're super powerful and all. He needs to have an edge, right? And that edge will be the vibranium armor. But I believe here there will be sort of a missile going back and forth from other countries against the United States, right? Anyway, there's much to discuss a lot of explosions. There will be a lot of action, which is what we want. A lot of action. I like the action, not just of superpowers of Avengers, but also on the ground. It's like a brawl, a fight. Like for example, Shang-Chi, which I think is cool, like a daredevil, which I think is cool. We had so many fights to get daredevil back because we like street fights, kingpin and all political plot. So very cool here. Gee, Kingpin could even appear here too, since Kingpin is more street level, right? Here is more of the whole world, right? But Kingpin is very cool too. Here's Isaiah Bradley. He's the first Captain America, unofficially, but he's the first to take the serum. He's being psychologically manipulated. That's why he's out there fighting. So you see, he is extremely powerful. He appeared in the series The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, then Steve Rogers, Sam Wilson, fighting. So cool. February, February of which year? Probably 2025. Look how cool. Is this the bunker or the plane? Let me have a look here. I think it's a bunker. This should be a bunker, although it could also be the president's plane. But it looks like a bunker. It looks like a bunker. It must be the bunker. So cool. Lots of action here. And remembering here, his partner has even appeared here. I can't remember his name, but the his partner, who was Falcon's partner, is now the new Falcon. He became Sam Wilson, became Captain America. 
and his partner became the Falcon. He even gave away the broken armor. Right now, his armor is broken, and he fixed it to become the Falcon. So you can already see he's very intelligent, has the skill to repair things. Quite interesting, too. Here, there's a very strong Hydra influence. Could Hydra be making a comeback? Feel free to comment below. Look at that double strike. Very good. He's already got his armor on. I believe that it's still the old armor, and later there will be new armor. Here it looks like it's the Exposito making some modification here. He's in some mansion with a pool, a mansion in the middle of nowhere. Then cool, there's going to be a lot of political pressure. Let's say he's not Steve Roger, he'll have to prove himself. Funny how he's already proven himself in this series, so it has to happen quickly to avoid repetition. Here, explosion after explosion. Who is that there? Who is that there? Could it be a woman? It has breasts, right? I think it's a woman, but you can't see clearly. It looks like her skin is black, although there is a lot of fire that can also, I don't know, right here, there's a kind of tactical leather footprint also. It could be her, although she has a weapon. Anyway, will she have the shield or the sword also? And look at that. A fucking shield. Vibranium shield and damn vibranium armor. Just missing the adamantium, right? Does he have something adamantium? Here it could be. Looks like Dora Milaje now that I got it. Here could be a Dora Milaje. Comment below, because what happens? How will there be this vibranium footprint on the armor of St. Wilson? So someone will have to deliver it to him, so it already involves the Kanda. And besides that also, besides that also, if there is a footprint there, where will they find the adamantium that historically is more stronger than vibranium so there's a risk that humans will mess up won't they capable of the united states the akanda now that he has a compound so powerful even more powerful than vibranium therefore it could be that the akanda is somehow appearing here considering the akanda opened up the country to communicate with the un right this is also important analysis and subscribe to the channel hit the like i always forget to say Write in the channel like comment you've already given and also press that little share button. You know, that button share will generate a link. Then you send it in the group, in the WhatsApp and Telegram groups. Nice, this growing channel. I bring more videos for you and then continuing here. Fight, fight, explosion, fight, fight, explosion. You know, you're not Steve Roger, then he'll speak. I know, right? And here, Berez has seen the expose Berez here. We thought, right, that he's super powerful, but it's a montage, right? Marvel, he likes to trick. So he throws the shield and all of a sudden, a lot of destruction. The White House is destroyed. And look, pausing here, we already see something red and strong and enraged. Something red, that's what we wanted it to be. Something green and angry, right? We only have Professor Hulk for the most part, but here we see the Red Hulk. Oh, you can see him here. Oh, Hulk smash. Uh-oh, I hope he's quite different from Hulk in terms of personality type, right? Because the Red Hulk is less enraged and smarter. He's more controlled than our Green Emerald, right? And over there, I'm not the captain here. Oh, here, I already think that the new armor, oh, look, it's the budget armor. That the armor in the series was already pretty cool. Here's some vibranium. Oh, he put on the helmet. You saw him. He spun around and put on the helmet. I think he was without a helmet. He spun around, powered up, put on the helmet. You have to have a helmet, right? Oh, the speed is on the side of the plane, right? He's going to stay pretty genius, right? And look, they destroyed the plane here. Nice. And here we have the Hulk. Why? Because McDonald's already released it. It leaked in the McDonald's toys. And what happens with McDonald's? The movie was delayed. McDonald's can't delay because it has partnerships with other movies. So McDonald's will release the dolls before the movie, right? Unfortunately, this has already happened in some movies. And then look at the size of the shield compared to Hulk. And here, obviously, we will have the face of the president, Thunderbolt Ross. And Thunderbolt Ross, what's interesting is that he already has his face scanned because of Indiana Jones. So it will be easier to make the Hulk one of the reasons they chose Harrison Ford. But that's it. Comment below what did you think of this trailer? Did it hype you up? If not, subscribe to the channel and hit the like button.